It is a landmark court case with wide-ranging implications. A circuit court judge rules people have the right to videotape police officers during an arrest. WJZ and Andrea Fujihi are live outside state police headquarters with more on this. Good morning, Andrea. Good morning, Don, and good morning, everyone. We're talking about a video that can be seen around the world when a 24-year-old motorcyclist videotaped his own speeding arrest and then posted it on YouTube. It's the videotape which became a YouTube sensation. A 24-year-old Maryland Air National Guard sergeant recorded his traffic stop with the help of a helmet camera on I-95. I was afraid. I thought the person at the time, I didn't know it was an officer, was going to shoot me. Anthony Graber faced felony charges and more than a decade in prison for recording the traffic stop, which prosecutors called a violation of the state's wiretapping law, preventing audio recording without consent. They took the information they had uh, presented to the state's attorney. Uh, legal advice was obtained from the state's attorney's office who said to move ahead with charges. Circuit Court Judge Emery Plitt Jr. threw out four counts of a grand jury indictment upholding the public's right to record interactions with police officers. When I'm talking to you, you shut your mouth. Like the one involving Baltimore City police officer Salvatore Rivieri, who was caught on tape berating a skateboarder at the Inner Harbor. Rivieri was fired last month. When police encounter us, uh, they take the position that what we say is not private and can and will be used against us in a court of law. Uh, and why shouldn't the same rules apply to the police that apply to you or I? Now, state police say they haven't reviewed yet the judge's ruling, so it's not clear if they'll be giving new, updated orders to their troopers. Don, back to you. Thank you very much, Andrea. Graber still faces charges of speeding and negligent driving.